ISTQB, Foundation Level, Version 96. Which of the following statements is generally true of testing? 1. Testing can show the presence of defects. 2. Testing reduces the probability of uncovered defects. 3. Testing can show that a previously present defect has been removed. 4. Testing can prove that software is defect-free. Answers A. 1, 2 and 3 are valid. B. 1, 2 and 4 are valid. C. 1, 3 and 4 are valid. D. 2, 3 and 4 are valid. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ISTQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed and changing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ISTQB questions on a regular basis. Let's look at all the statements from 1 to 4. Statement 1 is valid. Testing is primarily focused on identifying the presence of defects in the software according to testing principle 1 in the ISTQB syllabus. Statement 2 is valid. Effective testing helps in reducing the probability of defects going undetected, but it does not eliminate the possibility entirely. Statement 3 is valid. Testing can demonstrate that a defect, once identified, has been fixed or removed. It is called confirmation testing, according to the ISTQB glossary. Statement 4 is invalid. Testing cannot prove that software is defect-free. It can only provide information about the presence of defects that have been identified during testing. My recommendation. Please avoid proof wording in your answers. In summary, all the above leads us to the correct answer A. Statement 4 is false and statements 1, 2 and 3 are true. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 1.3, testing principles in the ISTQB syllabus, where we can see that the testing principle 1 is testing shows the presence or the absence of defects. Testing can show that defects are present in the test object, but cannot prove that there are no defects. Testing reduces the probability of defects remaining undiscovered in the test object. But even if no defects are found, testing cannot prove test object correctness. This is fully consistent with statements 1, 2 and 4. Last but not least, as you might have already guessed, looking at your titanic efforts, diligence and perseverance, I expect a gigantic progress from you so I look forward to your success which might happen overnight never give up